Hello guys, my name is Kamana Kane and I'm going to be giving you a book review of what was D-Day. D-Day is a very brutal day. And if you don't know what D-Day is, well first it's called Doomsday, but a lot of people say D-Day, just for a shorter. And when was it happening? Well, it was World War II. And the Allied soldiers stormed to the beaches of Normandy, France. And the Nazis, well, they're a big, bad pack of wolves. And they're trying to, well, practically slay France. So the Allied soldiers were, America is part of the Allied soldiers, but there's many more other countries. And they were freeing France from being slaved by the Nazis. So he stormed the beaches of Normandy, France. These aren't the real names, but they're the code names, militaries or milit militants or however you say them, use codes for the beaches. So if the Germans were spying on them, like with signals, hacking into their system and having signals, they would know where they would be storming and protected a lot more. So they stormed the beaches, and it was a very cold night. The water was freezing, and no soldiers were, they were like this. They were getting ready to fight for their lives and fight for France. They were, once they arrived at the beaches, there was no turning back. Explosions everywhere, there, 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 up there. And if you didn't know, there's this gun called Hitler's Zipper, and it goes like, <laughs> and the, it shoots 125 bullets every second, 2,000 miles per hour. It's on page 72, and its original name is MG42. Let me read the whole paragraph for you. Nazi soldiers blasted the landing boats with MG42s. They were the fastest machine guns in the world at that time. Double the speeds of American Browning. The guns fired at 2,000 miles per hour, 125 bullets every second. The rapid sound of its gunfire earned its name Hitler's Zipper. I can't believe how loud it would have been at World War II. Like, the Germans would all have Hitler's Zipper MG42s and start shooting them. If you don't, didn't know, there's these things, like, they trap tanks. They're like 3D X's. If you know what I'm talking about, you probably do. And they stop the wheels of the tanks, and Ger Germans put them all over the beaches of Normandy, France. So the tanks couldn't go even farther, farther and, well, destro destroy them. Absolutely demolish the Nazis. So they put a lot of them, and that's how a lot of them died. And if you don't know a lot about D-Day, I'm just going to give you three facts. There's always some facts on the back, and I'm going to read all of them. Over 160,000 Allied so I mean, not Allied, but Allied soldiers, came by air and sea to storm the beaches of France. Allied forces dropped paratrooper dummies from airplanes to fool the Nazis. So if you don't know what paratroopers are, they're, <clears throat> they're, military, they're military people who jump out of the planes with a parachute and they have a lot of heavy stuff on. Like, what if something goes wrong? What if the parachute explodes? Like, if you have, yeah, all that stuff. Medical kits, knives and guns so the reason why i like this book and recommend it is it had a lot of stuff a lot of stuff i never knew before and i bet you'll learn a lot more of d-day once you read this book and a lot more of other people with if you read these books you'll know a lot more about hurricane katrina mother Teresa, and the tuskegee airman, airman. So, as you know, because all the details I explained, it's very brutal.
Um, real, real quick, what are the name of the five beaches? This one, the five areas? So, they're called Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword. And, of course, like, that's not in French language. It's American code language because who in the world will na name their beaches in Normandy, France, Juno, Utah? It's already stayed in the United States of America, so it has all this knowledge so hope you like my book review like subscribe turn on notifications for more of those big fat books of knowledge and comment if you have any questions and see you in the next video bye